So to calculate the fluid force applied to a vertical thin plate, we have this formula. Force equals the integral from A to B. Now, A and B are the Y values uh, of the plate, of the interval that the plate covers. not the depth of the water. So it's the integral from A to B, the weight density times the depth of a typical strip, which is of course an expression that involves Y, times L of Y, which is another function. Okay, I want to take a look at page 470, number 12. And to save a little time, I've already sketched the tank. It's a rectangular tank with a little window, a one by one square window, one foot above the base. I know the drawing's not exactly to scale, but we'll deal with it. Now, when you're working with these problems, you have to add an x and y axis to your picture to establish a coordinate system and everybody has their own theories on how to do this. For this particular problem, I'm going to add my x-axis right along the bottom of the tank and I'm going to add my y-axis right down the middle of the plate. It's usually good to do that because if there's symmetry it's a little easier to find out the formula for the L of Y. So let's go ahead and set up our integral. I think I can fit that in right here. For our problem, F equals the integral. Now, let's get some numbers in here. The depth of the water is 3 feet. The plate is 1 foot up and one foot high. So this is a y value of one and a y value of two. So we're going to integrate from one to two. Since we're dealing with water, our weight density is 62.4. Now to add in the strip depth, we're going to add a, a typical strip onto our picture. And that strip depth, if this is y, is 3 minus y. That's how deep the strip is from the top of the water. So we got 3 minus y for the strip depth. L of y is easy on this picture because how wide is every single strip going to be? Since it's a square, L of Y is just 1. And then our strip thickness is dy. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. Factoring out 62.4 times 1, we get 62.4. Uh, this is supposed to be an integral symbol times the integral from 1 to 2. We'll put that in the gag reel. 3 minus y dy. Now from here we have a pretty straightforward antiderivative. The antiderivative of 3 minus y is just 3y minus y over 2. We're going to integrate from 1 to 2. Excuse me, we're going to evaluate it uh, per the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 from 1 to 2. Big F of B minus big F of A. All right, we already did the integration. We plug in a 2, we get 6 minus 1, which is, uh, this is a y squared. How about 6 minus 4 over 2, which is 2? So when you plug in 2, you get 4. When you plug in a 1, you get 3 
times 1, which is 3, minus 1 half, which is 2.5. 62.4 times 1.5 happens to be 93.6. Pounds. This is the force applied to one side of this vertical thin plate, this little window in our tank.